This is what's left over the bus. This is all the junk. I got a window in the air, uh, doors, some wood. Obviously pallet wood is not out of the bus. Uh, we're going to run to town, get some supplies, and then we're going to do the, uh, try to do the tank install today. Uh, all the fuel lines and uh, install this here pump and hopefully we can maybe, oh I need to get some pantyhose too to filter, excuse me, to filter this stuff um, but hopefully we can be up and running today or tomorrow and then get out of here in a couple of days. Alright, picking up where we left off yesterday we're actually going to try and mount the tank today. The only problem is, I can't, no problem. I can't find the cone bit. Then you got a problem. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking you about. Got a whole whole bunch of so holes I, I, had to, I had to buy a hundred dollar cone bit. It's just, here somewhere. I know it's somewhere. <laughs> yeah, it is here somewhere. We don't know where it is. So a cone bit's like this. Uh, six bits in one, shaped like a cone, and uh, I don't know, I would say overpriced, but it there. probably just hit it so you went out to drill it. <laughs> I'm That's looking forward to drilling to it, because I want no, the tank up. I'm trying to get out of here. You're probably, no you're not. You're hanging around like a bad memory, you know. Yep. Uh, anyways, I think, I think I'll just pre-drill with some metal screws, and I don't know, we'll find it someplace. All right, if anybody invites you over for a good time and says you want to drill through a frame, you might want to think twice. <laughs> Barely a dent in this thing. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. How did you drill that in okay, five just seconds? Just give me the camera. Just quit lying to the people. Okay, go ahead and show them what you're doing. Okay, now you see that? Isn't that just disgusting? Now hold the camera, Jack. Okay, now this is how you do it. You put the drill in the middle of the mass like this. Yeah, there's an airline behind that. I know. Look at that. I want that, I want that bit. Look at that. Holy moly. He's got special bits. So then what you do... No, they're not special. They're just trained. <laughs> yeah, oh, man. I'm getting schooled. Every single day here is a new lesson. All right. New battery. Or uh, memory card. Oh, I know. You got you get, beads of sweat on your you got, forehead. You got something on your face. You got beads of sweat <laughs> on your forehead. We've been working at this down here. By the way, oh, it, it's going slightly better because... I've been using better bits. Um, actually, I'm lying to him. Well, no, I tell just showed you how to do it. That's all. There's a difference. Well, true. Badge does no more than I do. This Milwaukee bit sucks. Don't recommend buying them. No, I'm actually no, using no. this as the back to no, drill into. Don't be saying that to them. You're lying to them. Yes. Just don't, just not this say you don't buy this them Dewalt them. set. This De, Well, no, just the bits. These, but not the brand. Actually, his. The drill bit is amazing. These are, these are shit bits, right? And these are just a mixture of garbage bits from Canadian Tire. Yeah. The trick to them is you sharpen them. Oh, that is That's a good a trick. trick. But See, he's got an I edge took on one. his right now, so yeah. it's cutting. This one's brand new, and too bad. this DeWalt, I, I don't know what type it is. Yeah, tape, I don't know what it is. I got it at, you know, whatever, big box hardware store. Here, will you hold this and I'll show them how, how it's easy oh, it is yeah, to you drill. You show them how to do it. Watch. You show them how to do them, Jax. Well, uh, Badger we'll recommends uh, using uh, this uh, rooster product. Rooster snot. So then you just put a little dab rooster on there. Rooster snot on a there. little dab on put here. Put a little rooster snot on there. Yeah, right, right on yeah, there. Yeah, there you go. Well, there watch there we this, go. Watch how fast it goes. Did you put your box in there? Oh, wait. This is my dead battery. Oh, crap. We're not going nowhere with that, baby. <laughs> Here, try this one. All right. Try this drill bit. This is well, badges. Well, no, safety I want to try the same no, bit. No, come on, come on. Try, no, because I was talking up Dewalt how good this bit was. So I got it. This is this is nothing special. Okay. It was like a twenty dollar set. Twenty dollar set, folks. Nothing special. Look at that, right through there. Yeah. Oh my God. Look at that, Jack. It's going right through. I know. 
as you would say, it's a Christmas miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. All right. Now watch it, it's this gonna cut. This a lot of torque. I know, it's, that's over Milwaukee, right? Yeah, I know, this yeah. is an M18. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. One. You've kicked the shit out of their bits, but the Milwaukee's good. There we go. There you go. Now, actually, if we just go like that. Nice. Okay, now yeah. you're gonna notice this, you know. What? Because the Z-Man's gonna go nuts, but we've been using this, and we're just using cordless drills, which is almost impossible. And we're not <laughs> using, uh, uh, frame uh, electric, um, what they call that now? Electric drill to clamp on a magnetic base. We're not using that either. But we're very lucky because this is a soft frame. Now, we sort of lucked out because, you see there, we've only got, we got five holes that we already got drilled that we didn't have to drill because they're already there. Yeah. This one here, we got to drill Th three. Th this one looks a little off. <laughs> no, because I changed the mount to this. Oh, okay. They're not side by side. Because I remember I re-drilled the thing to mount yes, up with this. Yes. So these are fr frame ones. You always try to keep the ones that are there and make your own if you want, right? Yep. See, I've done all this. I've done two brackets, and he's still working yeah. on one. I, I See, he, he gave me the tough stuff. I got six you over got here. you got nothing behind you. True, but I'm doing six. I'm doing one, three. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nah, yeah. So anyways, these are going to be fun. Okay, guys. I put these two in for anchors. I'm gonna guide this through and drill out so it's perfectly uh, lined up with that. As you can see, I was a little off on that one, so I'll re-drill uh, these. Uh, it's actually significantly off. No big deal. We'll clean that up and we'll make it perfect. <sighs> Guys, this is what we got so far. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. All these work. Three of those work. On the other side, I'm gonna uh, bore them out as well. So we'll have uh, six bolts holding it up. These are grade eight bolts. I think Badge said they're rated to 115,000 pounds. I could be wrong. Uh, and then we got this front one to do. Here's the current life update. I bored out six holes for the rear, just for the rear. The middle one I think is good, if I remember correctly. Gotta work on the front one right now. And uh, man, if anybody says, I'm not a hard worker, well, sometimes you're correct, but I'm also operating the camera and um, trying to document what's going on here, so I, I, am, I am definitely working. <laughs> All right, day two update. We got the straps pretty much off. We just got to take that other one. We are going to mount the tank. We're also playing with this door, but it's going to be a little difficult. Do you have any predictions on this door? The door is the easy part. Getting that thing under there is the problem. Oh. So we need about three Z-Man and, <laughs> and Bubble Warbucks to give us a hand. <laughs> we should be able to figure this out. Anybody want to come help us? We're over in uh, Squatterville, Alberta. This will also be about two weeks ago by the time you guys are watching it. Um, but uh, we're moving right along here. You got the damn right. What? What? Everything you do gives me butterflies. This is kind of funny, you know. Really funny, you know, Jack. What? Well, you know, brothers are good for all kinds of stupid stuff, right? Yeah, like letting a, letting us use his car. Yeah, like letting us use his truck, letting us use his wagon and his tent. <laughs> now he goes and buys this stupid thing at Canadian Tire, of course. And I says, Billy, what are we gonna use that for? Well, there you go, Jax. That's for hauling your tank. That's right, we now know the answer. Yeah, we know the answer. It's for hauling the tank. That's what it's for. That's right, tank hauler. A tank hauler. Thanks, Nut Bar. Yeah, thanks, Willie. <laughs> Much appreciated. Come on. This is gonna be difficult. This is a state of the world right now. We're using a 12 by 12s. Up. Yeah. A bit more. Okay, well, just push it in right there. Push it towards you? Yeah. Okay. 
tank. Yep. Just don't fucking breathe. All right, check this out. We have it kind of, kind of mounted. Okay. So, here we hold, go. Hold it away from yourself. Oop, gonna do I that. turned this. What does this mean? Nothing. Right. Okay, I'm going to take all the credit for this. Not him. Because <laughs> Jax runs the Jax, right? And he got all screwed up with the Jax. But he got the Jax figured out, so it's all good. Jax was jacking two Jax. Jax was jacking two Jax. So, the story is, is, as you see, we got it all in there, which is a, almost a damn miracle. And we didn't have no help from Bubba Warbox or <laughs> Sue Girling or any of them people. Not, e so, not even Nut Bar. Not even Nut Bar. It wasn't even so, nut yeah, but it's all in there, and it's all good, and we got lots of clearance. It's really looking good. I right? think it looks great. It looks awesome. Thanks, dude. It? Now, I'm taking all the credit for this because he would have been here for months doing this. I'm going to take all the credit for this one. you got to hold it away from yourself when you do that, like Why? this. Why? It What's looks it? better because you had it like okay. this. You get like up your nostrils and stuff. Well, let's see. Let's see the nostril one. I haven't seen the nostril one. All right, so check it out. We have it. Uh, I got a, uh, He left me a couple... Uh, nuts and bolts to, to work on we got a couple here and here but this is more or less what it's going to look like we still got to tighten down these these are the straps this is the bracket oh crap we got the okay we got to put rubber in between the metal um never forget the rubber when you're putting in brackets and straps into a semi truck uh fuel tank so don't forget when you're working on a bus don't forget your rubber <laughs> so this is what it looks like the reason I didn't go with a round tank was I felt that it ground the ground clearance. Yeah, it, it was really low. So this one, we, we doubled the ground clearance. And I feel like, you know, we're on, a, we're on a little tilt. So something like 12 inches, I think that's... It was 8 inches, the other one. The, uh, the other one was 8? Yeah. I just feel like... You feel free to agree or disagree with me. It's just an opinion. Everybody's got one. I feel like eight inches in the middle of a bus is a little bit too low. If you go over a railroad track, uh, eight inches is not a lot. I don't want to get stuck there and then have this thing get demolished. See, that's what we left these on here for. These brackets, that's where the step was. So that's where the outside deck will eventually go on there that'll fold down <laughs> for the outside deck. That would be cool. So this is also a little storage space, and we have a couple, you know, some things here. I don't know. I don't really know what I would store in there. Maybe a chair. Full down deck. A full. <laughs> we could. These things are really strong and can hold a lot of stuff. I got, I'm going to work on this. I got a couple things to do here. The badge is doing the gold wing door. Gold wing door. They know about the gold wing door, right? Do you guys know about the gold wing door? I feel Did like you guys know about the, the gold, gold wing door. They know about the gold wing door. But you honestly, tell them about the jacks, jack and two jacks, though. No. Well, early in the video, they did find out about how many jacks the jacks could jack up. Right. And yes. you were doing jacks was jack and two jacks at the same time. You know, I was feeling jacked up. That's exactly. the truth. So uh, this is what we got here. Uh, people mechanically inclined will know what these are. Uh, yeah. Drill bit and a tap. Uh, for everyone else, uh, this is what's going to make a thread uh, for a bolt to go in here and hold the hinge. Tell them, you didn't tell them that you put a piece of... Metal in there. Well, <laughs> when I was out running errands, these oh, guys... Oh, running errands? What? I was. I had to go to oh, town. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. By the way, town is an hour away. So, um, while I was out doing errands, these nice gentlemen, very kind yes. of them, were out here working on this thing. Yes, and they put the in metal this way yeah. and metal this way. So, because the door, remember the door cracked on the bus and it was all cracked up? So, we welded the door... We put a reinforcement in the door and put two one-inch bars in it. So basically, the door is just a skin now. Basically, yeah. uh, not, these doors, by the way, they're just they're hollow. So cheap. Yeah, they are super cheap. They're they're just hollow. So we added. It's basically this, and it's square. So it goes over and around. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, I'm gonna let you do the door. I'm gonna do the door. I'm gonna work I on the tank. the tank. Well, I'm gonna do whatever you didn't do over there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been under the bus. Working on uh, the other tank things. Wow, ah, what do we have here, Badge? Should, what? We, should we show them from the inside? What do we have here, folks? 
<laughs> what do we have here? We have a glowing door. <laughs> are we serving? Are, hey, are we serving uh, uh, tacos? Tacos to, in a bag. Are we serving tacos? Tacos to, in a bag. Are we serving tater? Some tacos here? Yeah, tacos in a bag. <laughs> And pancakes and maple syrup. Oh man, look at that. My very own food truck window. How do you guys like that? I'll be serving absolutely nothing. You know, they're going to, exactly, you're going <laughs> to be serving absolutely nothing. <laughs> no, I don't, yeah, I don't have a ambitions uh, or a license to serve very, any food. Uh, very, uh, what do they call that? What? When they come up with ideas. Ingenious? Ingenious idea to come up with a food wagon. When you <laughs> never thought of that one. Yeah, so, uh, uh, Badge, you know, created uh, uh, basically a nut, right? He, he, he created a nut by tapping into the metal, threaded the metal, so that's why he, he's just screwing it in, <clears throat> or I should say bolting it in. And as you can see, it goes in nice and easy, just like abracadabra, one, two, three. Yeah. Go. All right, I'm gonna get back under the bus, yeah, the but we got exciting, got exciting things going on here. Uh, it's gonna rain in two days, so we're trying to finish thing, this whole thing up. <coughs> and uh, my guess is we'll have a, running on vegetable oil tomorrow. We gotta install still uh, a pump, a filter, two filters, and uh, return lines and uh, fuel lines. So we'll probably do that tomorrow. All right, next update. We have a. Uh, fuel water separator installed. Uh, we just bolted it into the uh, uh, battery bank right here. So this thing is gonna go fuel, or I should say yeah, veggie, right? It'll go veggie through here, then to the pump, and then to the engine. All right, here's the update. Got a boo-boo. <laughs> uh, we are gonna hold off until tomorrow. Uh, Campground host Brad <laughs> is gonna have a uh, little barbecue. By the way, thank you, Brad, for all the hospitality and Heather. You guys are amazing. Um, and I think after dinner, I'm gonna play with some caulking and uh, play with my <laughs> play with my cock. And I'll put a nice little bead in here because it uh, kind of seeped in when it was raining. So, in the next video, we're gonna fully install the rest of the vegetable oil components and probably fire it up, maybe even take it for a test drive. So thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.